Okay, greetings everyone. This is First and Twenty and Seven Fifty Three of the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator Four: Power and Revolution, playing as India. And to start off this episode, I do want to uh, start by doing a sort of a report from something I wanted to trace from the from uh, previous episodes. Uh, we were looking at the electronic material industry uh, as an essential industry for. Um, as a central industry for, uh, as like a subsidiary industry. For example, uh, there may be, there's a lot of other industries, I think, electronical components that have, oh no, it's not in there. Uh, I've looked at it before, I had the list at one point. Electrical materials are in a number of other, no, components, components are in a lot more. Um, maybe it was consumer. That the game doesn't tell you, that's one thing the game doesn't tell you, what um, industries, electrical components are definitely required in majority of industries. Electrical components and steel are were two of the most uh, required sectors uh, as subsidiary sectors that would uh, be necessary in the production process. But electrical materials, I remember, was I think around third. So that's why I wanted to boost up my electrical material um, production, because there was a deficit, from what I remember. So I wanted to take a look at it. What I did to boost it uh, was to exonerate it from corporate taxes. And uh, looking at previous information, which I noted in my notepad here, um, electrical materials, we started, where did I put it? I just had it. Electrical materials started with a GDP uh, of 108 million, 9 million employed, and a total production of 5.8 million, and a consumption with a consumption of 5.2 million. Now, consumption has remained the same, not 5, 15, 15.8 uh, uh, million dollars worth of. Uh, production and 15.2 million dollars worth of consumption so consumption remained the same but look at what happened this is a result of exoneration because uh, these were millions or 15,000 sorry 15,000 um, so I guess it was more I guess it was 15.8 billion sorry 15.8 billion and 15.2 billion because uh, that's in millions, uh, but that went up from 15.8 billion to 21.4 billion. So production has skyrocketed here, um, as far as this tells you the percentage worldwide uh, and the consumption worldwide. But worldwide, uh, we gained a whole half percentage. It doesn't tell you the total amount. Profits have increased by 20, almost 30 million. Sales, uh, 3 billion. Trade balance uh, has increased. Uh, we probably could look for a trade deal to try to export some more of this stuff, I think. But that is a, that is a great, uh, that's a, a big, uh, that was only like two, two months ago, I think, in January. It might have been the first episode. So we have a big jump there for production. Uh, in electrical materials as a result of exoneration and let's look at the industry info here and like I said it was hundred and eight million I believe and now we are at a hundred and eighty one million so that's almost eighty million dollars worth of growth because we got rid of the corporate tax in electrical materials and employment has gone up from 9 million employed originally to 11.3 million. So that is a fantastic jump there. So the, the exonerating, and I, I think that wasn't really a high uh, corporate tax production area. So look at paper, that, they're producing a lot of corporate taxes. That's amazing. Um, what other things might not be producing a lot of corporate taxes, but might be doing pretty well for us in other areas? Robots and rare earth oxides. Plastic industry. That's interesting. 
So when you do um, exonerate certain industries, you might want to consider what is the ratio of taxes to GDP as well as to um, employment. Because if you have places that do not produce a lot of corporate taxes that have high GDP, uh, you might want to continue to do that. You might want to exonerate um, these guys. And places that um, have high employment numbers as well. Look at electronic components. Wow, and that is in uh, dollars, straight up dollars. There's a lot of workers in that industry. So maybe we want to exonerate electronic components, especially since that is another key uh, industrial sector that is basically required in everything. That's something I might want to consider. So when you're managing your industries, um, these are things you want to consider. That's really, well, that's a decent amount. You know, what industries are really producing a lot of corporate taxes for you? Which ones aren't? Which ones, um, you know, are high employment? Look at that software industry here. That is really high employment. Of course, that's pretty high in corporate taxes, too. So I don't know if I want to jeopardize that. Um, but down here, plastic industry and maybe electronic material. I'm actually going to write those two down. Those might be two areas where we can exonerate and look to make trade deals um, to guarantee our exports. Of course, electrical materials, we probably don't, or electrical components, we probably don't want to export too much because, um, and look at these purchase, I don't like these numbers here, when it, it's just 199, there's something weird with those numbers. Um, but something like electronical components, I don't really want to export too much because I want to maintain, I ha make sure I have enough to uh, allow for my own domestic in industrial growth since it's required in so many different areas. Uh, but that's something to consider. <clears throat> and I think in the third and fourth quarters, I'm going to start uh, buying things. I have a number of things I would like to buy from different countries, purchase agreements I'd like to make that are generally raw materials. Uh, I really want to start bringing in raw materials and I want to um, create uh, a lot of manufacturing in this country. What is that? Hostage taken. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta check that out. Oh, Kashmir Autonomous League terrorists have invaded the National Theater and are holding 76 people hostage. They placed explosives under the seats and force the public and actors to remain seated. We are unaware of their demands at the moment, but apparently they do not wish to attend the first act of Shakespeare's play. I'll get back to you soon. Um, wow. In light of recent events, we'll proceed to cross-check all our intelligence and quickly update the file. Some suspects will be removed. All right, so we do have to probably take another look at the uh, Secret Service file. Um... Mystic 86 said that we went into this file. Uh, check the file here. There are two people here. Apparently, this person, no, this person might actually be our agent that we are surveilling here, but he doesn't really like us very much, does he? Can we check this out? Communist, political persuasion is communist regional. He is heterosexual. Topics for this person is foreign policy. Ready to start extramarital relationship. Oh, wow. Maybe we can, like, get agents in there to... force people to commit adultery, like the Russians. Or get secrets from them in bed. Pillow talk, as you will. Um, can we start employing some of those agents? can't arrest him for anything. Is he our agent? There's no indication that this person is our agent. This person bought a canister of gas. I don't know if that's uh, something we can arrest him for. Um, but I think it might be time to start expanding our surveillance of certain groups here.
And now how do I do it? Do I go into... I don't remember how I did it last time. Cybersecurity. Exterior. Aha, maybe it's this. How did I do it last time? I don't even remember how I did it. One thing I do need to increase is the budget. That's really not that much money. I want to increase that. Counterintelligence. I think that's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and increase that. And we'll try and infiltrate each one of these groups as a response to this terrorist action. Uh, infiltrate. And I guess we're just going through the file. Yeah, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of people here. Oh, I should have checked to see if it increased before I infiltrated. I don't think these are our agents. And I don't know which one here is the leader. Indian Communist Forces. Let's go into the Kashmir League. They're the ones taking hostage. Let's start off right away by placing both of these guys under surveillance. Okay, so now can we go into the other groups and place everyone under surveillance? Martinez is the one who suggested that we go ahead and place everybody under surveillance, I think, right? Let's go ahead and grab all of these agents. All of these terrorists. Not grab them, but monitor them all. Yeah, I think you really gotta go in and just monitor everyone. As long as you got enough funding. We did that league. Movement of Hindu fighters. Alright, only two here. That's good. Buying a gas canister. I don't know if that's enough to arrest them. Total Jihad. Wow, a lot of people here. But I think we should have enough to put everybody under surveillance and then have a few more. Which would be good, because then I could put political opponents under surveillance. Possibly. There we go. Okay. And if I am going to be putting political opponents under uh, surveillance, can I add, add political espionage? That might help us in other countries as well. Okay, so we maxed out our espionage. We have... Uh, 120,000 national agents, only 248 special agents, 18,000 cyber analysts. Can we do anything with cybersecurity? Citizens' awareness of cybersecurity uh, will cost 20 million. That's not bad. This camp, this uh, awareness campaign takes place in marketing campaign to inform the general surfing public about habits to adopt matter of cyber hygiene to protect themselves from risk of being hacked. Uh, this campaign also covers both media and social networks, including creating an information call center widely followed as its start. It will uh, lose effectiveness over time. It's only 20 million. I've spent about, I think, I want to say 850 million so far on uh, intelligence uh, based on everything I just did. So let's go ahead and do this. 20 million. We can spend a billion, I'd say. Um, Citizens Awareness, Launch cyber, cyber Protection Program for Infrastructure Level of Cyber Protection Plan, Bronze. Um, comes from the following training sessions to educate public staff, usage of messaging for all personnel, cost over five years, one billion. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, that, I think awareness is enough for now. And we are infiltrating all these groups and we are monitoring all their leaders and uh, if we get something more incriminating maybe we can arrest somebody but as of right now uh, we've taken our steps 
to launch negotiations with these guys. Let's go ahead and start negotiating. Uh, gain some time. Send them hearty meals and alcohol beverages. Approve of their legitimate demands. Help them to give up or there's some chance. I don't know. Gain some time. I don't know what. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the benefits of each one of these will be. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. One of these two. Gain time or send them hearty meals, alcohol, beverages. Hey, let's get them a little drunk and see what happens. Okay. Um. So that's that. What else did I want to do? Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to go into these unions. There's only one union. Really? And he loves me. Never mind. I don't have to do anything. Really? Only one union? Okay. I'm not going to mess with that, actually. Associations. Not a lot of associations here in this country. Senior citizens. Wow, for a large country, there are not a lot of associations or unions at all. Uh, national branch to fight against AIDS. We should probably give some money to AIDS. Animals. I could do protection of fauna. Anti-racism. Yikes, people are racist. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. And there's no way to edit that. Ugh, sorry. Um, family. Humanitarians. Not enough humanitarianism. I guess if I funded AIDS then I might get the humanitarian bonus as well. Senior citizens. Women's rights. The black community. And the white community. So I should probably do, there's not a lot of associations here. I may want to start concentrating on efforts to um, win over some of these associations. The best way I've found to do it in the past was through increasing medical expenses. Health and Social Security. <laughs> These expenses might be very high in India, though. What if I did AIDS? Oh, that's a lot of money. Alright, cancel that. Okay, let's let some time go by here. Click off here. And uh, I was going to meet with all the uh, union leaders. Our task force has coordinated with the PR firm to prepare for the campaign. Good. It will start in two weeks. Two you weeks. Taken good initiative. It is indeed appropriate to anticipate and make our citizens ready to face the never-ending threat of cybercrime. I like it. Another suggestion was to expand um, cyber networks in the rural areas. This was by Broadband in Rural Areas, the Occidental. Um, I am going to wait on that. Uh, like I said, I don't want to spend too much more money this year. I want to try to cut the budget, which means I'll try to get through this year, actually, as quickly as possible. I think there is a meeting coming up. Ooh, look at that. Sincere salutations from Secret Services. You know full well that in our services, the empathy curve usually stays close to zero. However, I have placed my agents under surveillance, and I can assure you that after what you've done for them, you're in the good books of 98.7% of the staff. What about that 0.3%? Okay, so yeah, I think I might want to hold out until next year. What happened there? Oh no. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. The terrorist discovered that he worked for us and sent us his head by mail. Yuck. It is even uglier than seeing recessive curd on a Lloyd scale. <clears throat> no matter what, the package implies an extremely clear threat against our country. We must prepare countermeasures. I don't remember them ever sending people's heads to us. The hostage takers transmitted a press release. If their demands are not met, they will execute the hostages. Yikes. Um. No longer launch negotiations. Should we attack? Let's do it. This could be ugly. Order to attack has been given. Increased happiness in India. Very good. Uh, I wanted to show the numbers. I don't know if I look at the numbers with you guys. So, uh, 
pretty good numbers here. GDP is 2.5 trillion. I think that's growing. Um, growth is at 9%. Unemployment's below 4%. Inflation's at 5.17%. Opening uh, hostage take. Oh, nice! It was successful! The assault was a major success. Our intervention team showed considerable professionalism. Beautiful. And the terrorists were shot or captured. With the exception of some people with minor wounds, there were no casualties among the hostages. Beautiful. The national defense does not have enough men to fulfill its mission. Yikes. Paralympics. Search of funding. Uh, find a rich donor, huh? Let's go find a rich donor. Businessman. Right wing. Right wing businessman. Meet with him. Let's get money from them. And what is going on here? We got uh, a lot of messages here. Our infiltrated agent is Ooh. on site. His first report confirms that his cell is operational and has carried out some preliminary tests as set up by the usual protocol with a view to launching his mission. This country will soon be the destination for our secret agents. A lot of internal and external. Our infiltrated agent is on site. Intelligence. This, this episode. Our infiltrated agent is on site. Beautiful. And this is Japan. Ooh, we're making a deal with Japan. This was a meeting I set up. Uh, stop by offering them coffee. Sure. Dark and strong. What please. was the deal? I think it's utility vehicles. Um. I gotta check this out. Okay, chemical industry? Jewelry, is what we're selling uh, Japan jewelry. Okay, I love your landscape. I hope you didn't make me come here. Today. Wow, okay, um, sales contract. Sale. And the goal was to sell jewelry to them. Ah, I can't get a good price on that. I thought I could get a good price on that jewelry. What about electrical materials, since we have a surplus in that? Jewelry is not going to be sold at this round. Oh, come on, man. Okay. I don't know why this ends up happening when the sales price and the purchase price is like 98 and 100. Like, that's just, somehow that's a, I don't know if that's a glitch or I don't know what that's supposed to mean in the game. So it doesn't look like we'll be selling them much of anything now. We have some aluminum we could sell. That would be a billion dollars. I do want to increase my alliances. But I don't really want to sell off too many raw materials like aluminum, bauxite, or any real food. Chemical industry. We do have some surplus in the chemical industry here. And their consumption is above their production. And there's a good average price. Three thousand, that's nice. Let's try to get that price. Oh, it looks good. Five five billion dollars added to the economy. It's a good deal. Should be a good deal. Military alliance. No treaty, how about a non aggression pact? They refuse. All right, well, hopefully that'll just improve relations with uh, Japan a little bit. Meeting with right-wing billionaire. Champagne for you. I'd be happy to. That's what we call entertaining. You are radiant. You're not bad yourself. Oh, boy. Who is this guy? He's heterosexual. Um, <laughs> back to this. Don't want him to speak. I do want to say he's the most generous person ever. It's very kind of you. And illegally fund my party. Sure. Yes. I want to change some laws here. Go into elections. <laughs> Renewal head of government mandate. Unlimited good. Wanted that. More cells operational. Head of state's term. Can I get another year? 
Yes. I'm going for it. What about seven years? I know some people think this is gamish, but I do want to sort of... Oh, wow. I do want to extend um, this series a little bit longer. Oh, my God. Can I get nine? This will prevent me from having to... What happened? Our infiltrated agent is on site. His first report... Good, let's pause this. Poll on nine years. Nope, we'll go with eight. Eight is good, though, right? Just want to double check that, because that, something happened there. Eight is good. Okay, so this will give me another, uh, buy me another three years. Confirm that. Sorry, I know people think that's gamish, but uh, I do want to extend my my series. Uh, and these congressional elections are coming up soon. So, uh, I want to make it a good series. And I want to make this a long one. Our infiltrated agent Comparable to the uh, Greek series. The terrorists discovered that he worked for us and sent us his head by mail. Yikes. It is even uglier than seeing recessive... Another... Agent killed. Our infiltrated agent is on site. All right, so we got some new. Um, that way, I don't need to illegally search for funds. Oh boy, what is going on here? We are awaiting your instructions. To is this for the uh, my because my the law I proposed, League of Social Democrats. We have strong suspicions that this organization is preparing to carry out an attack in the next few hours. Interesting. The rioters have taken control of the square. The images are being widely circulated. On there is rioting the rioters going on now. Have taken control of the square. The images are being wide. The rioters have taken control. Wow, they're taking control of everything. I gotta go in here. Bring in police reinforcements. We'll start with that. <clears throat> I think there looks to be a few more options here. Indian Social Front. Indian Social Front. Is that a political party? Yes, it is. They probably don't like the fact that I'm extending my term of office. All right, so eminent attack. Does that mean I should just go and arrest that guy with a gas canister? And uh, they killed our agent. Let's reinfiltrate the two groups where they killed our agents. Let's go into this group. File. What? There are a bunch of new people. Join forum on bomb bomb making website. Converse more than an hour with three unknown persons at an airport. Let's up the surveillance on these guys. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with an arrest of um, this guy with the canister. Where's the guy with the canister? This guy. Arrest him. Ho ho! Cutting off the head. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Can we put him on? I don't know what's gonna happen now. Can we keep him on trial or what? So, this is getting a little crazy. I have to cough. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here. It's been about 30 minutes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.